Magandang araw, oras na para sa pinakabagong balita sa lagay ng panahon at sa mundo ng science and technology. Ako po si Jel Miranda and we welcome you to DOS TV, Science for the People. Muling tunghayan sa aming back-to-back -back documentaries ang kwento ng mga estudyante patuloy na natutulungan ng Department of Science and Technology, Science and Technology Information Institute sa kanilang pag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng Science and Technology Academic and Research-Based Openly Operated Kiosks o Starbucks. Dito lamang sa Sinesyensya. Okay, Starbucks is a response to a problem. The problem is the uh, inability of uh, the challenges, the no? barriers to the distribution, dissemination of science and technology information to the sectors that need them most. No? We're talking of the marginal sector, we're talking of uh, schools that are really off the internet grid, no? uh, we're talking of tertiary systems, no, tertiary education systems no, that they don't even possess the rudimentary uh, science and technology references. So we have uh, digitized uh, copies no, of the original, of the originals no, from when, when uh, since the 90, early 1900s, no, when the first Philippine Journal of Science was published. So, but added to that, no, we were able to soup up our uh, inventory by really searching the World Wide Web no, for royalty-free, uh, useful, relevant, and appropriate uh, content for our uh, clients. No. So that is also very, very important since content is king and uh, you are actually also competing no, with the content that's being provided by other uh, commercial providers. No. So we have to be always be uh, always updating our content. No. So. Uh, right now, also, uh, Starbucks, I believe, has benefited from the many resources, from uh, not only from the collection of the Science and Technology Information Institute, but also from the collection of different uh, government and uh, different uh, agencies under the Department of Science and Technology, you know, uh, like the ITDI uh, and, and the Picard you know, and other agencies. You know. And uh, recently, uh, the, uh, the entire collection you know, of the technology resource and the former technology resource center composed of multimedia materials no, for livelihood and enterprise is now also included. You know. So there's always something for everyone no, uh, in the Starbucks. Basing nga dun sa needs assessment namin in line with education, ang Malinaw Elementary School ay nangangailangan talaga ng mga instructional materials and technology na makakatulong sa kanilang mag-aaral at uh, hindi lamang doon, pati sa mga teachers. That's why uh, we collaborated with the DOST and then we come up with the Starbucks. Uh, in Starbucks, alam namin yung system is maganda para sa, sa mga estudyante at saka teachers ng uh, Malinaw Elementary School. 
So again, uh, Batangas State University provided two sets of computer para doon mai mai lagay yung system ng Starbucks and then we donated it dito, them to Malinaw Elementary School. Una, it's so portable, no? Uh, it's a we call it the science library in a box. No, uh, no frills. You'll have your uh, library no? uh, in an instant. And uh, by putting up the Starbucks, no, you'll have uh, at your disposal almost one terabyte of science and technology information and other information no? that could help researchers, academics, uh, even ordinary housewives, no? uh, even an ordinary farmer, even an ordinary uh, worker. Because our, really, our intention really is to narrow the digital divide you know, by providing digital products you know, in the form of Starbucks to people that really don't have access. Dahil nga sa malayo itong palakpak at medyo para sa akin ay delikado ang, ang paglalakad. Isa pa may ilog na tinatawid, delikado pag umuulat bumabaha. E di, dinadala ko na sa hap. Bayan ko na sila pinapapasok pag high school. When you have a Starbucks, you, know, you have again a uh, repository of uh, veritable goldmine of uh, information no, right at your fingertips. So you don't need internet, you know, it's self-contained. Okay? It's so easy to maintain, it's so easy to update. You know? uh, it's really having your own uh, functioning uh, library without the humongous expenses you know, or cost you know, to it, you know, added to it. So it's really a, a very cost-efficient way of obtaining much-needed science and technology information. What we realize is that so many we have right now, even the public schools, they have computer systems, but uh, they don't have the full uh, system to, I mean, uh, there's no content uh, input, you know, where they can actually get content. You know. So they're hoping that uh, with, with, the, with the computer systems in the schools, you know, they can connect to the internet, which also poses another challenge and a problem. You know. So with Starbucks, as we started offering Starbucks really as a, uh, you give us your hard disk, we give you your content. Malinong Super Starbucks, may bagong UI na. At saka, bali na dagdagan yung, ano, yung mga videos. Dati kasi yung mga teaser niya, uh, hindi yung full video. Ngayon, bali kompleto na siya. May umabot ng walang oras, napong oras, ganun, ayun na oras. Bali ano po, uh, yung IP natin sa, yung URL natin sa Starbucks na nandito, bali, bali ano na niya, bali kukommunikit na siya dito sa server. At the same time, yung terminal na yun, pwede rin maka-access sa Starbucks. Uh, later on, they, they'll tell us, uh, they told us what the features they would want, no? so we started also. But, uh, but then again, when we started, it must be emphasized that we also very, very conscious about proprietary rights. And uh, we're also very, very conscious about costs. No? But precisely, the reason why we're able to pull off you know, such a... Uh, uh, an appropriate project is that we foresee already that the cost for memory and storage would uh, become lower you know, as the years uh, go by. So we are leveraging this, this, uh, this development you know, because years back, for example, one, me a uh, one gigabyte uh, uh, storage space would actually cost you an arm and a leg, but not anymore. You know. So we saw that now again with our digitized content, you know, it would be far more uh, faster, you know, that the, the velocity of disseminating, diffusing knowledge would be faster if we actually, uh, again, make the information there for everyone to have. You know? So that's, that's really the key here. You know? There's no much, there's, uh, we, we really lowered the barrier for people to ask for Starbucks you know? uh, in terms of the technical requirements you know? and uh, even uh, the uh, proprietary or legal requirements. So it's really us pushing this product you know, in a way where this would be very, very convenient for, for users. Uh, 
uh, ang gaganda ng mga reactions ng mga teachers. Uh, kanina, uh, nakikipagkwentuhan ako sa kanila. And may teacher doon na nagsabing, Sir, hindi na kami kailang bumaba pa ng bayan para mag-research ng ituturo. So lahat ay nakikita na nila sa, sa Starbucks. Uh, pati yung mga interactive videos ng, na makikita doon sa system ay talagang daw kapakipakinabang sa mga mag-aaral na ng uh, Malinaw Elementary School. Dati po, pag po may assignment po kami, na nanghihiram po kami kay ma'am ng libro, tapos po, di ano po, pag po yung iba hindi po nakakagawa, pagkadati kailangan po namin agahan para po yung iba makaaga po makagawa ng assignment. Doon lang po sa tinuturo po ng teacher namin, tsaka po sa libro. Mahirap po kasi. Kasi dapat pa po basahin. Kailangan pa po namin pumunta ng bayan para po makapag-research. Nasabi po ng mga iba po sa aking mga klase ko po, Uy, uy, may Starbucks, may dadalhin daw dito. Makakapanood tayo, sabi ng mga. Tapos sabi ko po, oo, oo nga. Sabi po na mga yan, eh, hindi na tayo muna maglalaro ha, manonood muna tayo. Hindi na po ganun. Nung una po dumating dito ang mga technician at una po, yun po, sumubok po ako. Nakatulong po ito sa akin. Sa pag-aaral ko po, dahil po madali na po ito, papanoorin niyo na lang. Tapos isi-search niyo na lang po kung ano po lahat po ng mga kailangan ko. Kaya po madali po akong matuto. Ang ginagawa po namin, yung po, pag manonood kami sa Starbucks, Um, kami po i ano po para pong to, para po siyang sinusulat lang po ng ng teacher sa blackboard tapos po para po kami nagaan hindi po namin kailangan pong isulat yung mga sasabihin ng teacher tuturo na lang po nila maraming yung dating kulang ang kanilang kaalaman ay ngay ibukas na ang kanilang isip kung saan nila hahanapin yung minsan ay related sa kanilang na itinuasa at tinuturo na kanilang turo. Kasi doon sila kumukuha ng kanilang mga ituturo na alam ko namang applied sa K-12 curriculum. Masaya ang Batangas State University sa pangungunan ng aming University President si Dr. Tirso A. Robquillo na nakakatulong sila sa mga mag-aaral dito sa Malinaw Elementary School. At uh, alam namin na ganito talaga ang antak mo ng buhay dito. Kaya ang Batangas State University ay patuloy na tutulong at aagapay sa mga pangangailangan nila bilang adopted barangay namin ng Batangas State University. We never imagined you know, that Starbucks would be this big, that it would gain rec international recognition. But then again, you know, uh, I guess the bigger reward would be in the future. You know, when all these students whose, whose curiosity we have satisfied uh, will be there you know, to put their talent in the service of the country, you know, to become future scientists, become future engineers, you know, and um, offer their talent for, for the betterment of the country. So um, this is a small package that we started, you know, but really we are uh, hoping, you know, and I'm, I'm pretty much sure, that uh, there's a big, big, big potential. That's really that um, uh, the, the gold, gold, uh, gold pot uh, uh, for the country. Ang GOST ay uh, talagang uh, nakakatulong sa ating mga mag-aaral at ating mga uh, teachers. Uh, katulad nito ang uh, sa Malino nga. So, um, katulad ng Starbucks, uh, ini-enhance nila yung uh, science knowledge ng ating mga estudyante. So, uh, sana sa DOST, patuloy pa silang palawakin yung uh, range ng natutulungan nila, kagaya ng dito sa barangay na ito. At uh, sana ay lalo pa silang lumago, uh, kasabay rin ng paglago ng mga uh, eskwelahang kanilang natutulungan. Uh, unang una po, nagpapasalamat po kami sa DOST at sa tulong po nila, nabigyan kami ng computer at niya nga pong Starbucks na naging isa pong pakinabang sa aming mag-aaral dito sa paaralan ng Malinaw. At para naman po doon sa mga wala pa sa ibang paaralan, 
hinihimo ko po sila na sana at o oh, sana po magkaroon din sila ng tulad ng natanggap namin na galing sa DOST na yan nga pong computer at star books. Nagpapasalamat po ako dahil po pinagyan po nila kami ng ganon kahit po simple lang po basta masaya naman po kami at hindi po kami naiinip sa pagbabasa ngayon po nanonood na lang po kami madami po po kami natutunan kahit sa mga karton na panood lang po dun maraming salamat po dahil po binigyan niyo po kami ng Starbucks at pagbubutihin po namin ang aming pag-aaral dito sa mga batang ito unang-una thank you for uh, sa kanila no, for appreciating Starbucks but Starbucks is a trigger eh, for them to open their minds to the bigger universe of science technology and other for them to learn no it's a trigger for them to learn so and we hope that Starbucks accomplishes that task no, of uh, being a tool for uh, our young people no, to have this early appreciation appreciation for science and technology but also again whenever you use Star Books, it satisfies curiosity. Eh. Diba? That's the first ano, mo, pag ginamit mo Starbucks. But never, and remember that Starbucks is also there to provide solutions to problems. So, for the young people using Starbucks, don't stop dreaming. And may this tool open your mind to be more imaginative, more creative, and never to stop dreaming. Because that is the only way that we will progress with increase our human capacity to develop, uh, to address our problems, to solve these day-to-day problems that we're encountering, and again, to move this country forward. Nagbabalik po ang DOS TV Science for the People. Alamin ang latest update sa lagay ng panahon ngayong araw mula sa DOS Tipag-asa dito sa aming weather update. Good morning sa iyo, Jel. Good morning po sa lahat ng taga-subaybay ng DOS TV. Kasalukuyan, ang nakakapekto sa ating bansa itong uh, Amihan o sa napektuhan na ang uh, Northern at Central Luzon. Samantalang itong Telen Gold Front ay uh, nakapektuhan niya itong uh, Bicol Region at uh, Eastern Visayas. At yung makikita sa loob ng Philippine Area of Responsibility, wala tayong binabantay ang bagyo o low pressure area. At sa araw nito, ang uh, halos buong Luzon kasama ang Metro Manila ay makaranas ng maulap na papurin na may mga kalat-kalat na pag-ulan, uh, mostly mahinang pag-ulan at may kasamang thunderstorm. May iban dito sa Ilocos Region na inaasahan po natin na may itapanahon maliban sa mga isolated na pag-ulan or thunderstorm. At dako naman tayo sa Visayas at kasama Palawan Uh, maliba lang sa Palawan, maulap na kalangitan na may mga kalat-kalat na pag-ulan at thunderstorm sa buong Visayas. At um, samantala ditong Palawan, may itapanahon, maliban sa mga isolated na pag-ulan or thunderstorm. At sa Mindanao, ay uh, ang Davao Region, Caraga at Northern Mindanao ay inaasahan po natin na maulap na kalangitan na may mga kalat-kalat na pag-ulan at may kasamang thunderstorm. May Samantalang niya labing bahagi ng Mindanao, katulad sa Sambuanga Peninsula, ay mga kananas ng uh, maita panahon maliban sa mga isolated na pag-ulan or thunderstorm. Uh, sa sunod na tatlong araw sa Metro Manila, dahil sa patuloy na epekto ng amihan, ay mga kananas tayo ng uh, mabukas. Ay nasa po natin na mag-umpisa na bahagyang maita panahon uh, kahit na po may pa rin epekto ng amihan at kung saan ay mapapakita ang sikat ng araw. Magiging bahagya hanggang sa maulap na kalangitan na asa po natin 
at uh, may makasamang isolated na mahinang pag-ulan. At yung makikita na below 30 degrees, uh, 30 degrees Celsius, inasa po natin ang maximum temperature sa Metro Manila. Sa Baguio City, dahil po sa patuloy na epekto ng amihan, sa susunod ng dalawang araw ay maulot na kalangitan na may mga kalat-kalat na mahinang pag-ulan at mag sa mga gumanda ang panahon pagdating ng linggo. Sa Metro Cebu, bukas ay opisa na pong gumanda ang panahon o mag-improve ang weather sa Cebu at may liba lang po sa mga isolated na pag-ulan or thunderstorm. Sa Metro Davao, bukas maulot na kalangitan na may mga kalat-kalat na pag-ulan at thunderstorm Inasa po natin na gaganda pa noon pagdating ng weekend. At dahil nga po sa epekto ng tele na cold front at amihan, ito yung mga baybayang dagat o buong baybayang dagat ng northern Luzon at yung uh, eastern seaboard ng central Luzon, ganun din ang southern Luzon hanggang Visayas. Ay uh, inasa po natin na maalon hanggang sa napakaalon ng ating mga karagatan. Kaya huwag mo nang pumalaw at natin kumabayan dahil matataas po ang alon po doon. Kusan ang uh, taas ng alon ay aabot hanggang 4.5 meters. Samantala, meron tayong binabantay ang isang cloud cluster. Hindi pa siya low pressure area. At itong cloud cluster nito, posibleng maging low pressure area at maging bagyo. Uh, sa kasalukuyan nitong cloud cluster nito, uh, hindi po ito nakakapekto sa bansa. At kapag naging bagyo ito, ay tatawagin natin siyang uh, Wilma sa taong nito. Kapag naging bagyo sa susunod na taon, 2018, tatawagin natin siyang Agaton. Pero sa ngayon, cloud cluster ito at patuloy natin babantayan itong, mga, itong uh, cloud cluster nito. Ang bang inasa natin kapag naging bagyo o low pressure area? Sa huling, tao, o huling linggo ng Disyembre, kadalasan ang track ng low pressure area o bagyo ay uh, dito sa Visayas, Tatawid. At, uh, dalo, at dadaan mis katawas ng Visayas, dadaan sa may Northern Palawan, hanggang sa West Philippine Sea, hanggang sa paglabas ng uh, Philippine Area of Responsibility. Kapag ang uh, track naman sa unang uh, linggo ng Enero, ay si Visayas pa rin, medyo mababa lang po. Kung kumpara o uh, Visayas, Ganoon pa rin Visayas at uh, dadaan dito sa may bandang Northern Palawan, West Philippine Sea, hanggang sa paglabas ng PAR. At kanina po ay uh, ang araw sumika sa ganap na 6.19 ng umaga at mamayang hapon inasa po natin ang araw lulubog sa ganap na 5.36 ng hapon. Para sa mga karagdagang update, lalo na po itong uh, cloud cluster nito na sa labas ng PAR na posibleng maging LPA o maging bagyo, ay uh, sundan po kami sa ating official social media account at bisitayin lagi ang ating Pag-asa website www.pagasa.dwsd.gov.ph Mula sa Pag-asa, ako po si Alzar D. Aurelio. DOS TV would like to thank Filipino Creazione de Mano Incorporated. Visit their showroom at Ground Floor Lobby, PSMBFI Building, 318 Santolon Road, West Crame, San Juan City. SITEV, the world's leading source of reliable and authoritative news, views, and analysis on information about science and technology for global development. Visit their website at www.sidev.net. And that's it for today. For more information, just log on to www.dostv.ph and visit our social media accounts. Abang din ang updates sa lagay ng panahon mula sa DOST Pag-asa tuwing alas 5 ng umaga at alas 5 ng hapon. Always remember, in progress, science is the key. Kaya sabay-sabay tayong makiisa at gamitin ang siyensya. Kami ang DOSTV, the program that delivers science for the people.